thank you mint for this opportunity uh, to speak on data privacy and protection january 28th is globally celebrated as data privacy day in europe it is known as data protection day the purpose of this day is to raise awareness and to promote privacy and data protection best practices i believe that in india we should be celebrating this with greater fervor with more participation the reason for this is that we do not have a natural culture of privacy which is very much required because we are going to take a quantum leap from our present day law to the upcoming personal data protection bill which is like a, a european law equivalent it is equivalent to the general data protection regulations of the european union uh, in fact some people ask me that do we at all have a law in india today and the answer is yes we do have a law in fact a patchwork of laws which are catering to data privacy and protection requirements in the country we have the information technology act and the uh, sensitive personal data rules which are taking care of uh, this subject on a sector neutral basis uh, we also have uh, the sectoral regulators which play a patchwork of role um for example the reserve bank of india giving its dictat to banks and nbfcs the irdi giving its dictat to insurance players so on and so forth we also have our regular laws like indian penal code indian contract act consumer protection act which uh, you know all to taken together play a role in you know in this patchwork uh now what are we looking forward to like i was mentioning we are looking forward to a law which is equivalent to uh, the european uh, law uh, and the penalties are also very steep okay the penalty buckets are like this it is 15 crore or 4% of total worldwide turnover is one bucket the second bucket is 5 crore or or 2% uh, of total worldwide turnover there are imprisonment provisions there are compensation provisions so yes this is definitely now become a board level discussion and people are taking note of this this particular personal data protection bill has been in the making since august 2017 and uh, we at khetan and co had been part and parcel we have followed this extensively we have uh, you know been part of every consultation meet that has taken place across the country which were conducted by the justice sri krishna committee and uh, we had given inputs at every level some of these actually have seen the light of the day when the bill was released and again the next version was released um, so there are a lot of things to talk about in this bill and you know but i think one of the cardinal things that we should be doing uh, is that we should educate our people okay and uh, educate them in very simple terms for example uh, say privacy by design okay this is the concept which we are hearing very often in the data privacy protection circuit but how do you explain to the layman on the road uh, say when you go to a restaurant and you have had your meal you want to pay your bill by a card uh, and they get you a point of sale machine you will see some of them come with a cover and some of them will not come with a cover so basically the point of sale machine that comes with a cover is the simplest example of privacy by design which was thought of by someone um and um, whatever you do uh, in your organization whether it is developing a policy developing a product a service if you keep privacy in the center of things i think i think that you know the rest is all sorted um Uh, a number of things to talk about in the bill you know for example one of the one of the best thing that it intends to do is give a lot of right to the data subjects okay which are called as data principles interestingly justice sri krishna told that after the britishers have gone i would not like to call any of my fellow indians as subjects and therefore though globally uh, it is known as data subjects in india we call them data principles and data controller is known as data fiduciary so there is a relationship of trust which is intended to be built through this uh, through this bill um like i was mentioning so what does this law intend to do amongst many things it also tries to give rights to individuals uh, for example right to confirmation and access right to correction and erasure right of data portability right to be forgotten uh, interestingly some of the constructs in the bill are very different from how the international laws look at it for example right to be forgotten when this was getting debated in the uh, you know uh, in the justice sri krishna committee uh, it was thought that 
from a tech perspective, it's very difficult at times to completely sign off and say, oh, you have exercised your right to be forgotten. So I will delete everything about you. That's sometimes not possible. Therefore, what uh, has been crafted in our law is slightly different. It is right against further disclosure. So if you read right to be forgotten, it is slightly differently crafted. Uh, similarly, breach notification, I think, is slightly differently crafted. Uh, and I think it is good, both uh, beneficial to individuals whose data is protected, as well as business organizations. So the way we look at it is like this, that if there is a breach which occurs, and if you understand that there could be harm caused to personal data of individuals, uh, the duty is to go to the authority with the relevant details and provide it to them. Now, if you have not been able to gather all that information at one go, it's absolutely fine. You can, uh, you know, stagger it out and discuss and dis you know discuss it out with the authority. And if the authority thinks that, uh, you know, uh, you can uh, divulge this to the data subjects at a later time, that can happen. If they want it is catastrophic that you put it up on your website, uh, it's very critical. You will have to do that even the data protection authority can put up the details on their website. So just a snapshot of how we have not completely aped the uh, European general data protection regulation, uh, but we have uh, taken uh, the good from the good, I would say, and, and moved ahead. Uh, that's a quick take from my end on the upcoming personal data protection bill. Uh, as a way forward, my suggestion is as follows. We are all aware that the joint parliamentary committee uh, is supposed to give its report on the uh, personal data protection bill in the in this budget session of the parliament. Uh, and probably thereafter we'll get uh, to see that it is debated in the parliament and it will become a law. But I don't think that commercial organizations should wait for that long. Because what is truly getting debated in the parliament may not impact a commercial organization to that extent, minus the point of data localization, which is a very different story. Um, but apart from that, you know, the gold standards are already there. Uh, and, and I think we should start moving towards that. Also, we should start training our people. Uh, and that uh, I think should start from today. The reason is that the, the GDPR experience has shown that the two year time that they gave for organizations to ramp up was not sufficient for them. And even at the end of the two years, they were grappling. So for us, I think it's a good time to start right now so that we are compliant within time. Thank you.